Hello and welcome to this video. Here I want to show you three things that you can do to protect your WordPress website from hacking. So the first thing is that if you are using a, a username like admin or a password that is maybe your birthday or your name, something like um, Sandra James, that is easy to guess, you might want to change that. So how do you do that? You want to log into your WordPress dashboard, go to um, all users add new users so you want to create a new user that is difficult to detect so i'll put a new username and put my email address put a new password put my first name here put my last name and then i will also now generate a password so i would like to use a password that is a combination of special characters numbers and, and words so I will use this one suggested here. Then I'll change this to administrator, the role, and click on add user. So the user has been added. So the next thing I will do is to delete the previous admin username. So I'll log out of this account. Then log in with the new profile I have created, put the username and password. Once I log in, okay. I will go to, I will save this, then I will go to add new user, users, add new, all users, sorry. So when I get to all users, what I will do here will be to delete the admin account and then assign all of its roles, attribute all of its current content to the new account I just created. Then I'll click on confirm, deletion. Okay, that is done and we have solved that problem. So the next thing to do to your account to, is to now install a plugin called WordFence. WordFence will help you to set up some security settings on your account so we'll go to plugins and click on add new plugin then we'll search for word fence so that's what fence so we'll click on what fence security we'll click on install now okay installation is complete we click on activate with the plugin once that is activated it will show you this you click on get your license get your free license then scroll down and click on what fence free get a free license here I'll okay I'll wait for 30 days click on that put your email address here Make sure to select yes to get vulnerability alerts and make sure to select I have read uh, the agreement and then register. Okay, it will now ask you to go and check your email to see a confirmation uh, email to complete your registration. So go to your email box, there is the email, click on it, then scroll down, click on install my license automatically. Right, it will bring you to your WordPress website and there you will see your license key then click on install license and that will be it your license will be installed so once that is done go to, click on go to dashboard your dashboard um, that is it so on the left here you go to under WordPress click on all options then here uh, you scroll down a bit under general word fence options select update yes automatic update then select hide wordpress fashion then scroll down to basic there's nothing to do here scroll down to brute force protection click on that brute force yeah brute force protection uh then lock out after how many failed login attempts uh mine is two so if somebody tries twice to log in and it fails log the person out lock out after how many forgot password attempts two tries forgot password twice it doesn't work log the person out 
uh, account failures after uh, within a period of 12 hours, years, how, how long is the person count failures within the time period is 12 hours, yes. One day. So within a period of one day, amount of time the person is locked out as long as possible, I'll put that at um, um, one day, two days. So assuming that to be a scammer, a hacker. So then select these and put admin lockout automatically. Anybody uses admin, I'll put that there. That's all I need to do here and I'll save it. So this is to protect you against hackers who try to use brute force to log into your WordPress. So make sure you save changes. And that's it for WordFence. So the next thing and the last thing to do is to change your WordPress login URL so that you are not using WP slash admin, but another URL that nobody knows but only you. So you go to plugins, go to add new plugin. So add the plugin called um, WP hide, WP hide login. So we'll search for that. Okay, so that's the WP hide login. We install the plugin. We activate the plugin now. Okay, once it's activated, scroll down, go to settings by the left and select WPS hide login. All right, so it will bring you to your general settings. So scroll down, this is a login URL. It's automatically set by the plugin to slash login. So you can just change this to whatever URL, um, username that you want there or, you know, login URL that you want. So instead of your website.com slash WP admin, it's going to be slash amazing beta hyphen now. So that will be the login. Make sure to save changes. Awesome. So these are the three things that you have to do to keep your website secure against hacking. Hope this has been helpful. Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tech videos and digital marketing videos. Take care and have a great day.